ever wondered what the difference between red teaming and pen testing is? Well, it's not as simple as comparing apples to oranges. It's more like comparing a full course meal to a gourmet dessert. Both are necessary, but they serve different purposes and employ different methodologies. Imagine red teaming as a full course meal, providing a holistic assessment of an organization's security posture. Red teams emulate the tactics, techniques and procedures of real-world adversaries to identify vulnerabilities and weaknesses in the organization's defenses. They simulate realistic attack scenarios, often involving broader objectives beyond just identifying technical vulnerabilities. They test organizational resilience, incident response capabilities and decision-making processes. It's like a full-course meal examining every aspect of your culinary experience. Output. On the other hand, penetration testing, or pen testing as it's commonly called, is more like a gourmet dessert. It focuses specifically on identifying and exploiting technical vulnerabilities in an organization's systems, networks, or applications. Pen testers follow a predefined scope and methodology to assess the security controls and defenses of a target system. The main objective is to uncover vulnerabilities that could be exploited by attackers to gain unauthorized access or cause harm. When it comes to scope, red teaming has a broader palette. It may involve a combination of technical, physical, social engineering and procedural attacks. Not just technical systems, but organizational processes, personnel and physical infrastructure may all come under the purview of a red team to assess the overall security posture. Contrastingly, penetration testing is more narrowly scoped, focusing primarily on identifying vulnerabilities within specific systems, applications, or networks. Penetration testers typically work within the constraints of a defined scope and methodology agreed upon with the client. Now, let's talk about approach. Red team engagements often involve a more adversarial and stealthy approach, mimicking the tactics and techniques used by real-world attackers. They employ a variety of tools and methods to evade detection and simulate sophisticated attacks. On the flip side, penetration testing follows a systematic and structured approach. It utilizes a combination of automated scanning tools and manual testing techniques to identify vulnerabilities. Penetration testers may also collaborate closely with the organization's security team to ensure tests are conducted safely and do not disrupt normal operations. So, to sum it all up, while both red teaming and penetration testing play important roles in assessing an organization's security posture, they serve different purposes. Red teaming offers a more comprehensive and realistic evaluation by simulating the behaviors of real-world adversaries across multiple dimensions. Penetration testing, however, hones in on technical vulnerabilities within a predefined scope. It's like the difference between a full-course meal and a gourmet dessert. Both are crucial parts of your dining experience, but they offer unique flavors and cater to different tastes.